what's up y'all so y'all already know why we here y'all know i had to do this um what is going on at dfw airport because we need to talk about this fall in love with me i introduced her to the game and let her talk with me she be like bunny and clyde she even clutching me i feel like it's do or die she give her soul to me she want to be close to me oh she said she fuck with me the long way she gon' rub my back, I had a long day Say, baby, I ain't gon' lead you down the wrong way Okay, so most of y'all have seen the video of the fight between the spirits, the spirit airlines worker at DFW airport and the black chick that he pummeled. I'm sorry. Just had to throw that out there, but we gonna get into how the fuck he tackled her motherfucking ass. And it's been going around the internet. I actually, as y'all know, do not be on social media. So I just happened to be at an eye appointment yesterday and I just was sitting in the waiting room on social media and it was the first thing that popped up on my feed and so i was like oh i told christian i said well this is reaction worthy and i'm late to the game because obviously i didn't see it but um i've seen it now and if i wouldn't be myself if i didn't say anything about it like this is my area this is what i do this is what i talk about is shit like this and is there's this back and forth that everybody is having on who was wrong like was she wrong or was he wrong because again we're talking about men hitting women women hitting men y'all already know how i feel about that but we're going to go into the video and i'm gonna get my play-by-play -play reaction let me make sure my phone is on do not disturb y'all because people like to just like really ruin my artistry if y'all hear any get on this in the background y'all know what it is y'all know where i stay um i cuss i curse I get loud, I do all of that. So if you don't like that, go ahead and exit stage left. Okay, so you still here. <clears throat> Therefore, you don't care. Um, I want to put some headphones in because, you know, I get loud and I should not be played in public. So we're going to look at the video. I might pause in between just to point out some things because that's the point of me reacting to it. And then I'm going to get my little two cents on it. And make sure y'all keep watching and subscribe to the page, all that, like the videos. Because I actually have some more reaction videos coming this week because I've seen a couple of videos and I got something to say about it. So y'all better stay tuned because it's about to get real. Okay? So we're going to make sure we're recording. <clears throat> and is okay, so let's see. Here we go. You touch me first, and then you got in my face. Don't ever invade my face. Get out of my bag! Get out of my bag! No, I'm not. You fucking I'm not. I'm here. You fucking I'm here. I'm pausing it already. You fucking faggot. One thing I don't like is slurs. I don't like racial slurs. I don't like homophobic slurs. That's the ultimate disrespect. That's the ultimate disrespect. That's where you fucked up first. The slurs and the unnecessary, like, insults and shit, no. No. That's what we not gonna do. That's not acceptable. I don't like that. Because now it, you, you insulted my character. So you already fucked up with, the, with that. With the fucking faggot. Really. So th this what we doing? That's not okay. Nothing about that is okay or ever okay. Keep going. Still cop, still, still saying that. Bitch. Pause. Okay, so disclaimer, nobody has seen the beginning of the video. If if they have it, if it's out there, I haven't seen it. I've tried to look to see what started all of this. Me personally, I don't particularly care on how shit started. Like, in some cases, it's very important to know how it started, but <clears throat> from the research or things that I've heard, she started the altercation, but we don't know how it started. That's not what we're reacting to. We're reacting to this part. We're reacting to this part. This part is relevant to my opinion as well as opinions of everybody else. Okay, so <clears throat> here, he's saying you in my personal space. You in his personal space. You calling him names. You got your finger in his face. You poking on him and shit. You doing too much. You already doing too much. Just leave me the fuck alone. It's all I want you to do is leave me the fuck alone. But you're going to keep antagonizing me. And what happens when you keep antagonizing, antagonizing somebody? 
What happens when you keep poking the fucking bear? That motherfucker gonna explode. It's gonna do something back. Me personally, I would have been hitter. I hit first. That's always been my thing. I hit first because I don't like for my life to be in danger like that. I don't know what people are capable of. So therefore, I'm going to protect myself because I don't know what you're going to do. And I don't want to take that risk. And if you that close to me, I feel like you a threat. And that threat has to be handled. Now, I'm going to ask you to back up on my face a couple of times to give you a warning. But if you don't heed the warning, now I'm going to have to punch the shit out of you. And she's still putting, see how she's still putting her hands on him? Warning, don't. Damn. Oh. Whoa. And that was obviously the highlight of the motherfucking video. And we gonna run it back again. We're going to run it back again. First, he told you, do not put your hands on me. Ladies, ladies, huh? Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you again, yet again. Stop putting your hands on men. They have every right to hit you the fuck back, period. Period. The hands are rated E for everybody. Do not put your hands, first of all, don't put your hands on nobody unless you expect to get hit back. Did I just tell y'all I hit first? Okay, so when I hit first, I expect for a fight to happen. I went into that knowing this person is going to hit me back. If you start a fight, you better be ready to finish that motherfucker. If you hit a man... And he knock your ass out, that's your fault because you shouldn't have put your hands on a man. And yes, we have this whole thing of men shouldn't hit women, men shouldn't hit women. They shouldn't. You right. But if a woman hits a man, he has every right to defend himself. I don't give a damn what they say. I don't care what society says. I don't care what the ancestors say. I don't care what they say. Man or woman, you put your hands on somebody, expect to get hit back every time. Don't put your hands on no man and then be mad when he socked the shit out of you. Because, and I was talking to my cousin about this, because I like to get everybody input with the people that's close to me, like my mama Christian, my cousin Ashley, usually them my three go-tos. But everybody said the same thing. My cousin pointed out a very important thing. Men are built different genetically. Genetically, they're stronger than women. You can put it however you want. It's some strong ass women out here. Trust me, I could take a nigga any day. But at the end of the day, men are stronger than women. So that goes further to know that if you put your hands on a man, and I think she believes in this sense because he's gay, that she felt like, oh, he a gay man. He ain't a real man. No, baby, that's still a, that's still a man. That's still a real man. Him being, his sexuality don't matter. Whether he gay, straight, it don't matter. He's still a man. So you really bullying him right now. You done already called him uh, the May homophobic slurs. Already called him a faggot. Already called him a bitch. Kept fucking putting it, getting in his face. Now, do I feel like at one point he was kind of egging it on? Yes, I do. There's one thing also me and my cousin pointed out. In, in a situation or a setting like that, because you're an employee... It may have been because while she was in your personal space, you were also in hers. So you, excuse me, so you could have walked away from the situation. But me, see, I would have tested and walked away. Now, if she follow you, oh, see, now we got a problem. Because I'm trying, I'm trying to let you be. But she fucked with the wrong nigga on the right day because he wasn't for the fuck shit. And I stand by him wholeheartedly. She should have, he should have fucking hit her back, period. I don't give a damn if he tumbled her, which he did. If he hit in the back of the head, which he did. I don't care how much force he put into it. You shouldn't have put your hands on it. He could have knocked your ass unconscious. You don't know the people that you fucking with. If you got enough balls to do it, you got enough balls to take it. Period.
But I am going to run it back, though, because I definitely got to see that again. Mm-hmm. Yep. Definitely got to see that again. Yeah, we're going to run that back. All right. See, that right there? Going to get your ass beat. And did. Get on motherfucking ass, period. Oh, my. Bow! Knock that ass out. Yeah, he ain't with the shit. He ain't with the shit. Y'all done pissed him off. And here comes the part I don't agree with. She fucked with the wrong person on the right day. Hey, relax, relax. Relax, relax, relax. See, that's the part I don't like. Sir, get your motherfucking ass out of my face before you be next. You not finna fight no woman. I'm sorry. But did you not see what I just saw? She hit me first. I didn't hit her first. You don't put your hands on a woman comes into play when we're dealing with domestic violence. And y'all already know how I feel about that. I may be a little biased. I always have to say this because of my dad. And he was a victim. This is why I tell people don't put your hands on no man. This is why I don't like when women fuck with men. This is why I don't agree with women putting their hands on men. Because my daddy was murdered by one. So you bitches think that you can do whatever the fuck you want. Just because society has your back on not being able to do anything to a man. No, 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 no. That whole don't put your hands on a woman goes into play if you start hauling off on a woman for no fucking reason. This wasn't that, and that wasn't this. So if you don't go sit your ass down before I beat you up too, he can put his hands on whoever he want who put their hands on him first. Self-defense applies to everybody. Gender don't matter at this point. You threw that shit out the window when you put your hands on me. Period. So that's the shit I don't agree with. No, she should have got her ass whooped. Because you don't go around hitting people. She slapped him. She hit him with one of them. And I done did one of them. Now, I wouldn't did it open hand. You're not, you're not supposed If you going to do it, because I've done that quite frequently because people try to break up fights and they stand in between. But if you real cold with it, you can go over the shoulder. Or you can go around the person that's breaking up the fight. I've done that plenty of times but when I do it I'm close fisting your motherfucking ass because if I'm gonna go around somebody to hit you I'm gonna knock your ass out I'm not finna open palm slap you knock your head over I ain't finna do that nigga I'm gonna smooth across the shoulder with this right hook that's how if she was gonna get into some gangster shit that's how she should have did it but nevertheless she hit him therefore he had the right to hit her back tackle her however the fuck he wanted to handle the situation to defend himself y'all had him fucked up exactly you ain't gonna knock out shit sit your old ass down nigga Fuck it. Then you got on a Nipsey shirt. Get the fuck out of here, man. Fucking playing with me. Man, if you don't get your ass on somewhere with that bullshit. F <laughs> Just got mad, bro. I hate when people try to stand. No, nah, bro. Don't stand up for her. You wasn't saying shit when she was doing all that goddamn talking and punching him and hitting him and shit and pointing in his fucking face and shit. What the fuck was your antennas when she was doing that shit? Now you finna stand up? Nigga, you wasn't finna do shit. If you was gonna do shit, you'd have did it. But you turned the other way. That ain't nobody but James. But you turned the other way. You don't want no problems with this man. And like he said, he'll hit anybody. The difference between an actual abuser when men abuse women, nine times out of ten, they can't stand up to no man. So they take that out on people they feel like are weaker than them. Because when it comes to a man, they ain't got that same energy. But him, I fight anybody. He will fight anybody. Like, you put your hands on me, that's self-defense. So where is you coming from 
off the sidelines trying to be super save a hoe. No, fuck that. She should have gotten hit more than that. You want to talk all that hot shit, you want to get in a nigga face, bitch, you better be ready. Because while there are some men out here, like dude from Steelers Game, who will not hit a woman back if they get hit by a woman, you got niggas like that who don't play that shit. And you playing Russian roulette every time. You don't know if a nigga going to hit you back or not. Therefore, you need not to hit them. Me personally, I might hit you with a light tap like me and Rodney might play fight or some shit. Or he'll say something. I'm like, hey, nigga, you know, whatever. Shut up. Like hit him on the side of the arm or some shit. Whatever. But what I'm not going to do, <clears throat> unless a nigga get in my face first. Now, if you get in my face on some shit, then we're going to have to fight. Self-defense, nigga. I don't trust your judgment. But I'm not finna put my hands on no man. Because I'm not gonna get knocked the fuck out. Fuck that. It's not happening. Especially I nigga, I know gonna get into some gangster shit. Again, you think just because this man gay, he ain't gonna get into no gangster shit. You fucked with the wrong nigga on the right day. And I don't care what people say. Most of the comments I've seen, everybody says she was wrong and he had every right to defend himself. I'm glad y'all see it that way because that's exactly how the fuck I feel and that's exactly what I feel like the truth is. She should have gotten hit back. Period. Point blank. Don't put your hands on nobody. Don't put your hands on no man. You put your hands on a man, he can hit you back. Because if I see some shit like that, Shouldn't have put your hands on them. That what your ass get. I ain't got nothing for you. And I help victims every day. But you ain't no victim. You started that shit, you better finish it. You start some shit, you better be ready to finish. That's just like if you pull a gun out on somebody, you better be ready to use that motherfucker. Because you don't know who you fucking with. And then you got to think about the shit that these airline employees, how many airline, how many airline reaction videos y'all done seen me do? People go in these fucking airports and treat these workers like shit and they get mad over their flights, over their traveling, whatever the case may be. So they already putting up with enough. And he was a contractor. Didn't I just do a video on if a job affects your mental health, it, it ain't worth it. I, I guarantee y'all they don't pay him enough to deal with no shit like that. Y'all gonna stop fucking with people at their job. And y'all gonna y'all gonna fuck with the wrong person one day. I don't know if y'all uh, who who didn't teach y'all this, but baby, you catch more flies with honey than vinegar. Cause one thing about me, I got a badass attitude. But sometimes I know, you know what? I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna be nice because I feel like I get more when I'm nice. I'm a Virgo. I'm gonna finesse it. If something happened, if some fuck up. Whether it's food and customer service, whether it's airline, I don't give a damn. I call people on customer service all the time. Every time I call, I be the sweetest person ever. I make people laugh. Because y'all don't know what them people dealing with. They get people yelling at them every day. You get more help when you're nice than when you do the motherfucking fool in public. And the fact that you black too... Stop embarrassing black women out here acting like that. Fuck is wrong with you? Go sit in the corner. Why revoke your goddamn black woman card? Fuck out of here. Anyway, that was my take on it. Sis was wrong. Sis should have got hit back. Him hitting her back was justified. I don't give a fuck how you put it, how you want to slice it, how you want to dice it. It is what it is. So, with that being said, I'm going to get into another reaction video that, that I'm going to do. This one might piss y'all off because it pissed me off. So, it's going to piss y'all off because I know most of my following is black. So, y'all just better be ready for that. Um, but it's not going to happen in this video. So, you got to subscribe and go ahead and cut on the notification bell because it's coming. Hmm? It's coming. So, until that one, I will see y'all. Bye.